Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Bio Mutant. Last time we helped the out of date guy here who's kind of like uh, Elvis. We saved him from a whole bunch of uh, evil enemies, and now we are finally going to exit Bunker 101 and see the world up above. With a little bit of XP as well. I do like the lighting, it's pretty unique. Alrighty, what do we got here? I guess we'll just follow the little dirt path. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. And there we go. The little uh, intro, I guess, right there. Yep, we'll sprint down here. We're probably gonna find like a little city somewhere. A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Oh, we need that. I'll get lost. I'll be going north when I'm really going south. All right, what do we got here? Let's see. It's weird. He like painted it. Signposts are found near locations of interest all around the world. You unlock the signpost when interacting with them. You can fast travel to signpost. Oh, okay. That's pretty neat. So we can actually fast travel to here. Or, I guess, right here. And then we need to go to another world. How does that look on the map? Oh, okay. That's pretty neat. We can just kind of get rid of the waypoint, though. We don't need it. Pretty neat, though. I mean, I wonder if there's anything kind of like hiding up above or anywhere. I don't know if there's like items around the world or if we will get like all of our items from defeated enemies. He looks big. Oh, it's destroying that town. It just walk. It's not even destroying the town. It's just walking that through the town. The world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. Oh, we definitely gotta put the that bastard down. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Let's go see if there's any survivors here. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. You know, to get people in their fields, they should have had like little children or whatever, you know lost their parents or something like that get the tears working he's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves but never expected one to come all the way here your inner balance is two halves that complete a whole wholeness that flows through all things at times you'll be able to manifest your inner balance through deeds and dialogue choices Few are those who always act in the same manner, and our wholeness is the sum of the choices we make and the actions we take. The balance of our actions create your aura score, which affect the dialogue with other characters. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Interacting with captives and PSI shrines will award you with PSI points that you can use to unlock psionic powers. Powers can only be unlocked once you have reached the required dark or light inner balance. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. I'll leave you to your fate. <laughs> oh, that's cold-blooded, but we're gonna help him. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. Oh, too much already. What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. Is 
side point unlocked. You gain a side point, use it to lock powers in the mutation menu. Some powers are locked by the aura score, meaning that your side points can only unlock powers of the same color as your current aura or those without color. Okay. Must have gonna check that out. Again. He must have missed something important. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Jagni isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. I don't know. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. He can sense you share Myriad's view on the world. The Myriad would embrace someone willing to fight against the tyranny of the Jagni. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the Tree of Life if you lose track of what you need to do. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the Tribe War and the situation with the World Eaters. Alrighty. Your current and started quests are shown in the journal. You can change which quest you tried by opening the journal tab and selecting another quest. Blah, 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 blah. These guys are evil. Straight up. <laughs> Cleansings. I mean, the last time I heard cleansing in our history, it wasn't good. And so we're going to go to the my rats here and kind of help them out. We have a journal here, so you have to talk to one of them, defeat all four world eaters, and conquer the rival, rival tribes. End of the tribal war. Interesting. Also go to our character, check out the mutation or aura. We have four light, two dark. Not for sure where we got our dark from, but you know, we'll roll with it. What can we get here? Okay, hold on. What was the one I wanted? There was one that I thought was pretty neat. Oh my god, we can use electricity. We can we can become our wannabe Sith Lord. Levitate could be nice. A freeze could help slow down enemies. Blaze. Use blaze, press down an input. You have found the ability to blaze. We'll launch you forward and leave a trail of fire behind you. I'm assuming the fire would do some damage. It would. And then we can smack people with that. I do know side points are hard to find. Especially if you want to try to get like key spark. It's going to be very difficult. But we want to try it out too. So we might as well go with... Uh, let's go with blink here. Let's be cool. Let's get a little bit of something here. We'll put it on A. And you know what, since we're already here, I didn't want to really do this, but hell, we're going to do it anyways. We're going to take one of these. Shoot a big old thing, or <laughs> shoot. Like, okay, let's get vile. Vile, or whatever. 
That's right, we're gonna upgrade. We're gonna be fancy looking. We're gonna put that as a B. All right, there we go. Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? Okay, let me choose then. That one goes to the quote unquote bad guys. That one goes to the good guys. Let me see here. Oh, that is fancy. It does take a little while for that stuff to come back. Vio, how long does it take for that one? It's to come unusual back? that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. It's not bad. I definitely want to try it out in uh, combat to kind of get a feel of it. But yeah, I was thinking, you know, we can always hold on to our side points for, you know, majority of the game and never get anything and be boring. Or we can just go all out here. What's going on here? Oh, is that a good guy? Yep, this is a bad guy, I think, right here. Wait, I don't know who's... I don't know who's bad or who's good here. <laughs> like, I don't know who's who. I'm assuming that the the dark guys here are the bad guys. No, no, it wants us to attack these guys. Okay, well, I'll put them down. I don't know. Okay, we killed one of them. Oh, he's got a gun, though. He's not messing around. He's got, like, a little shotgun. Okay, we got rid of him. Get him with that crane shot. There we go. And he's definitely a lot leveled up than us. We're He's already level 5. We're only, like, level 2. Smack him. And we got an upgrade point. Hopefully, those are the quote-unquote good guys, but I don't know. They kind of look evil. Okay, here, let us level up. And you know what? I'm going to go with a charisma build just so we can get unique uh, Looks conversations good. and whatnot when we talk to people here. I feel like that's a good thing to get. Dead eye here. We want to get um, more damage with our pistol. That one really kind of like drew me in. And then apparently we can get two-handed guns here, which would probably be better off. Did we get gear? I don't think we have. Everything's kind of normal, but we haven't checked it out, so we can see what's going on here. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. All right, let's see if we did a, a very bad thing by putting those guys down there. This did area a very good was thing. beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. Yeah, they got little trenches and everything. What do you got in there? Energy pack. And that's it. This is pretty neat, though. They got these little tunnels. Really, tunnels were used when you had... Uh, you know, when you would bombard enemies here, I haven't seen any sort of bombardment. It's really just like guns and blades, so this is kind of pointless at the moment. Unless they start, you know, shooting over explosives. But let's see here. What do the people look like around here? Oh, I hear something. The world's beautiful, though. I do admit that. I mean, the colors. That's the Myriad Tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way, you'll know. Or at least we can get a fast travel point if we need it later on. Put that weird yellow paint everywhere. Let's see. Yeah. These should be the good guys, I think. They're it's all about. A beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Oh, what am I gonna do? Beat up people, apparently. Oh, you know what? We actually killed the wrong people there. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. I can't. Uh, which one? Uh, we'll just go with that one. 
So, says you covered the important things already. Says they're cautious of non-allies. The Sifu is mindful of his time, but thinks you'll just have to find out for yourself if he's willing to spend some of it on you. I definitely didn't kill your buddies earlier. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the World Eaters and saving the Tree of Life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante Ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. A vigilante? He heard you took out of date side against the scavengers in Bunker 101. It seems you believe in helping your next, and that's something you have in common. He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Has no respect for his master, apparently. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it consisted of unarmed combat and the six weapons, the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are rivals in all directions. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. If you believe there's some good in everyone, there's still hope for tomorrow. You'll unite the tribes and defeat the World Eaters to save the Tree of Life. And that's the good, you know, kind of playthrough, and that's what we're going for? Alright, they want to unite, blah blah blah, sets the game in goal to save the Tree of Life. Choosing destiny for defeated rival Saifus is limited to unite or subdue. Oh, so I guess if we do the bad one, we can kill or whatnot. He was hoping you'd join them. You understand that there's no harm in doing good to others. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. And we know what the Jagni tribe is, so let's talk about that course that he's talking about, because we probably have to put him down. The Myriad were placed here to fulfill a certain purpose, chosen to unite the tribes and take control of their destiny. The tribes need a firm hand guiding them into the future. Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. At least you're at peace with yourselves. They might bring them war, but they'll never take away their inner peace. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. That's pretty neat.
He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wong Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. I'll open them down. You both have gentle minds, so they want to wage a gentle war. A war that bonds as much as it breaks. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. They pass the point of no return as their words lost power and see no other way forward than using violence to combat violence. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost might help. Oh, so we gotta go check out our old village. Even though it's now a different place from a different time, it is a place that will make you remember. Alrighty, so now we made an alliance with the quote-unquote good guys here, hopefully. You never know. We're gonna go do some, I guess, land warfare. Does it remind me of a GTA 4? Or Los, you know, GTA Los Angeles, or what? Not Los Angeles. What was it called? And I don't, rem I don't remember. San Andreas. There we go. GTA San Andreas. That's what we're going to be doing. Ally, maximum light. They're the rival. Go to our journal. Exit the Myrad's fort. We do that with ease. Sorry about killing y'all's brothers at the entrance there. I did not mean to do that. Oh, look at this guy working. <laughs> Says if you like to go out on the surf, you should find Goop. Says you'll see each other later. Goop, interesting. See what goodies they got around here. A health pack, pretty good health regen. Ooh, <laughs> a little fall damage there, apparently. I guess we can leave now. Pass through the cave. Okay, let's figure out what's the correct way to get down there. I guess we're gonna go back the way we came. Is there a fast travel point over there? Eh, it's not worth it. Massively, we're kinda like midway here, really enough. We'll just go straight for it. <laughs> Probably die from fall damage. Let's see how dangerous fall damage can be in the game. Okay, so if you are not careful, you might just fall to your death. I'm gonna go fast here, though. Weirdly enough, I know we came through here, but I do not remember this at all. It's already turned dark, I think. That's pretty neat. Look at that water. Visit your childhood village. Now, I'm pretty sure we are going to get attacked eventually. Someone's going to jump up and be like, yep, let's put them down. Oh, my. Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially. Deformed and unfurred. Oh, they got a fancy thing going on there. Okay, let's go with that. So we do crane shot. <laughs> do a lot of damage to him. Oh, he doesn't mess around. What do we have here? We also have the... There we go. 
We probably want to get close if we want to use the poison or whatever on him. Let's get in there. Oh, that was probably not a good idea. Okay, let me see here. Uh, health pack. <laughs> use that. Oh, I got stuck. I got lucky though. Okay, we got him about maybe a quarter health down now. Do a lot of damage there. Okay, let's try to get up close here. Oh, he's gonna do a swing. Yeah, I saw that coming. We'll just like take him out from far. This is the safe way. It might be a coward's way, but it's the correct way. Here, let me get in there. Okay, did we get him? Okay, yes we did. We got him with that poison. Oh, keep on moving. We got him. With one bullet remaining. What do you got on you? A common health. And that's it, apparently. Come on, you can have better than that. Oh, there's more things here. Energy pack. And a whole bunch of our fellows. Oh, and the enemy here dead. Small health pack. And I don't think there's anything else. Man, he was really putting people down in here. Now the question is, did that guy tell us to come to the old village on purpose? To, you know, put him down? Or was just that some just kind of didn't see it coming type thing? Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. I think he was raised here, so I guess he would have some sort of uh, fillings for the place. All right, let's get this fast travel point so we can come back here quicker if we need to later on. Let's see. I kind of don't like how it automatically puts us to the map. I see this one. Where's the one over here? I guess we could just fast travel to the fortress itself. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long lost past, like whispers in the wind. We're a young little child again. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. And Goop's chillin'. He asks how you are today. Better now that you asked? Sure. Goop says he always does better whenever he leaves failure behind. He's happy his good mood is infectious. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. Let's be nice to the guy. Apparently we need something from him later on. Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Oh, we're going to figure out how to swim now? And he'll be honored. He just throws him in there. Sink or swim. You can swim in most waters. While in very deep water, you slowly lose key energy. When you're out of key, you'll drown. I see. And we lose that energy quickly. So we definitely don't want to be in water for a long time. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? I need to keep that. <laughs> you almost drowned me. You, you really did. You could have died. Way to go. Don't let the sound of the waves drown out your spirit. But you need practice. Lots of practice. Great things usually happen to those who never stop trying. He hopes you'll be one of them. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. I'll try harder to soak up your instructions. You can never try too hard. Judging by your Moomer's look, 
It seems you forgot something. Uh-oh. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. You know you can't make up for lost time. You should know. Practice makes perfect. And we'll just be a good little boy. As long as it doesn't kill you, it'll only make you stronger. She'll see you at the village square. She says that's good. With a passion for learning, you'll never cease to grow. They got weird legs in this game. With their pants or their clothing and their legs, it's so weird. Alright, but let's do some more. Here's more. another familiar face with lots on his mind. Gizmo. Asks how you're feeling today. I'm sure it'd be nice to everyone we meet. Being nice comes easy for him. That doesn't make it less important. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. I like how he's got uh, patches on his pants where his pants have gotten uh, like cuts, you know, where it's ripped and then they patch it. That's what they used to do back in the day a long time ago. I mean, I think they used a similar color, not, you know, red or yellow, but it's pretty neat seeing that. He thinks you're truly a kidling of your environment. Or I should say his overall. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. So I guess he's going to teach us how to create items through items that we pick up around the game. What do we get? Oh, we just search it. Okay. Never know. We might find something good in here. He wonders what usefulness you found. Something old makes something new. He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. He says only a few are willing to do the little things, but if you make enough of them, they can have a big impact too. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. Upcycle. Welcome to crafting. Here you can modify existing weapons and armor. Or if you're feeling creative, create entirely new weapons from scratch. With the right pieces, you can craft your own weapon. The base. This defines which kind of weapon you will craft. There are three different kinds of melee weapons. Crush, one-handed slash, and two-handed slash. We got two-handed. Let's see here. What do they got here? Katana. A slab. And apparently you need the green. I don't know what the green is. Maybe that's like how much it's worth. One-handed, two-handed slash. Technically, this is better. And it's actually very light, weirdly enough. So we definitely want to make a flat iron. To continue crafting your weapon, select the handle slot. Okay. Oh, we can increase damage and stuff like that. That's pretty neat. What do they got up in here? 421. Sure, let's go with that. Let's just go with something that does a lot of damage, because why not? Craft the weapon. And we have a pretty uh, good hand two-handed slash here you did well but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon he believes being considerate will help you feel at peace with yourself he understands but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon you're not in this world to live up to his expectations, but he hopes you're never going to have to use that weapon of yours. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. 
It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. It's intended. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. Bro, he's like three years old and barely. Look how small he is compared to her. What do you mean he needs to find himself? That's all she's ever asked of you. That you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Then start by meeting her on the village square and take it from there. She knows you're a free spirit, always on the move, like the wind. Alrighty. But yeah, this guy's like five or six years old. He's like a little scrawny thing. You need to grow up, child. Oh, look at these bad guys right here. We might have to put them down. They look determined. Better watch out. Oh, those are those head honchos, the leaders that we have to fight. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. Oh, I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. Put him down. He wants to know who you think you are. They push each other to become better, and sometimes someone gets pushed down along the way. Oh, okay, let me beat him up then. Shit, bro, get out of here. You're lucky I don't have guns. This guy's actually pretty dangerous right here. Got rid of him. And smacked him a little bit more though. Oh, you with your goddamn bow. Wow, he's like super powerful apparently. They stole his weapon. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the rest they can get. We should kill them and burn their houses down. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. Kill their families. <laughs> Petty as hell. I must get stronger than my excuses. All right. You won't need excuses if you are strong in your conviction. Get strong, burn their houses down, steal the ladies. That's our goal. Be like, who are you? And be like, yeah, I remember 20 years ago when he pushed me down, you little motherfucker. <laughs> burn his village down. Here's someone close to heart, doing what he does best. Seeing you always puts a smile on your Popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. Popsy's in here fucking doing tailoring while mom's out fucking killing people. What the hell? He heard you helped Gizmo clean up. He's proud of you. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. Oh, <laughs> if you tell her, well, she's going to be pissed. He wishes that was true for your Moomer too, but guiding the village into the future and teaching Wang Fu to her disciples seems more important for every day. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. Alright, so I guess we're gonna upgrade some clothing apparently. I wonder how we meet the grasshopper. Okay, we got one there. A cloth pile. There's one in here somewhere. And then let's run to the last one. He's curious to see what you found. 
jar. Well, he's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bio-nucleus pool and refresh his DNA. Oh, he wants to upgrade. He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Thinks some are and some aren't. One thing's for sure, though, your Mooma thinks it all takes up too much space in the house. He says it's about time you learned how and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. Alrighty, so here we go. When looting, you will find add-ons. These can be crafted onto an item to increase the stats of the item. To upgrade armor and clothing with items, select a slot and add-on, then press. Alrighty. Okay, so these do a little bit of uh, an armor increase. I see seven, I see eight. Oh, there's even like remarkable, oh, okay. Abnormal. Sure, let's go with the like remarkable stuff here. Let's go with the fancy. Oh yeah, that's definitely better. I just keep on, <laughs> just put a whole bunch of goodies on here apparently. If it's uh, so, I'm pretty sure it's like green to purple. Well, that's remarkable. I guess maybe it doesn't really matter. Well, it's 31. Let me see here. 32. 31 with the critical chance. That's like a very tiny, but I guess we can roll with that. And we'll craft it. It's got a little bit of iron there. Got a little bit of like metal just to kind of protect himself. Peewee jacket. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. And then we made something that the mom, who's an asshole, would be proud of. He knows she's already proud of you and everything you've achieved so far. You should take it with you. Wear it to practice. Yeah, we better go because you're going to smack the hell out of his dad. He thinks you should. She'll be proud of you. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Alrighty. So weird how they're using the same conversations. Him and the uh, the little guy outside in the garbage. Practically word by word, but let's do some training here. Morning, Basa. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. Ansonvara. Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. This right here, I don't feel failure. I learned eventually. That's something a lot of people need to realize now. People are so afraid of failure. And they end up doing, not doing anything in life. That's a good attitude as long as you keep learning. Bro, he's so scrawny. Your Mooma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Thank you. Thanks you for being such a good student. Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Says he's always thought so well of you, just like her. Oh, this guy's scary looking. Oh, the grasshopper. A guiding star. Oh, we're gonna catch that son of a bitch. Look at him run. Catchy. Miss. Your Muma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. Yeah, it looks exactly like a, a uh, grasshopper. 
She's happy you appreciate what others do for you. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old-world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. You're lucky to have such a fine helper with you. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder, it's been a long day. She's so happy you made the most of it. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. What's under his pillow? I feel like a piece of metal. Nothing could stop Lupin Lupin from setting the world on fire. What the hell is he doing now? Your Mooma urges you to blaze a trail. You know, this is pretty neat though. I mean, it's raining outside, but he's still got the fire going. To dread fire. Well, so we want to try to avoid the fire because we don't want to get all... That's just adding fuel to the flames. You don't want to have like weakness to resistance with fire or whatever. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Yeah, we just need a little bit more here. I don't think anything else would drop, but our mother might die here. Jesus is going to run away without us here, apparently. Your Mooma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. There's nowhere to run to this time. The time has come to stand and fight. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. Oh, makes it seem like maybe she wasn't that good of a person at one time. She loves how brave you are, but she can't be worrying about you while she fights. This is her fight. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. Oh, damn, he went right for me. It's a void. And <laughs> smack him a little bit. Oh, okay, avoid him. Oh, she hit the, he hit the shit out of her. And smack him. Damn, he's really like tearing her up, though. I'm doing more damage than she is. Oh, of course, if I could hit the son of a bitch. There we go. Yep, smack him. I <laughs> really took it, taking a beating by me. Let's avoid that stomp. Now, I don't know if there's anything we can do here other than just kind of like smack him a little bit until something changes, but uh, we'll just roll with it. You must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Mooma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. Okay, so we just gotta get to her here before we drown. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. So we gotta be chill here, apparently. I guess maybe there's creatures in the deep water. Oh, he's coming though. Oh no, you can't go fast here. Oh, so he's gonna like chomp at her here. Let's get back to her. Probably gonna attack us like two or three more times and then we'll make it.
Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. And then he just bolts. He's like, hell no, I'm not the dying here. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Alrighty, well, we're going to stop there today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. Uh, smash that like button. It, this episode is a little bit late compared to the others, but let me get this fast travel point. Let's see. But, you know, at least we got through the whole little thing here. Anyways, I'll see y'all in the next one.